Um, do the ties do they look at these promotions like WBC as like it's the high standard or do the tie or ties within Thailand they kind of have their own fight promotions in mm -hmm. Bangkok do they kind of disregard it no it's not disregarded because uh a lot of the ties are ranked within them and uh I think only recently it's become uh more closely monitored in terms of who's fighting who internationally and being kept track of uh, when before it would be pretty much like if it's a huge fight and it's popular enough to gain uh, recognition, then you would end up on the rankings. And then if you fought someone else that was on the rankings. But I think now they are keeping more track of who is fighting who on all the promotions. Yeah. And uh, they're having youth leagues and tournaments, youth tournaments and professional tournaments. And that's really helping with the ranking, especially I think what kind of woke it up is uh, IFMA uh, partnering with the Olympics and starting their own ranking system. And, uh, and uh, they were cl working closely with WMC. So I think the other organizations like WBC really stepped it up to uh, get on that same level of being able to track their fighters. Uh, WMO, the one I'm ranked number three under, is really big in Thailand. It's run by Thais. And so they look at all the local fights, like in Bangkok. They really keep track of fighters, like all the way down to like rank fifty. Mm -hmm. What what do uh, for the promotions within Thailand? Like when you're saying trying to become a champion at Lumpani, is there a specific no promotion? longer a thing? By the way, this is all finished now. It unfortunately so because of the current situation, or since then because of the current situation. At, the, at, at initially they said it was. Um, because of the gambling, oh, okay. uh, the stadium moved and ended up going to the outskirts of Bangkok versus having walking traffic. Uh, so, everything was like kind of based on ideas like uh, we'll send tours there on mm -hmm. buses and uh, we'll add like a massage shop and this and that. Like so there's make no it longer like a stadium crowd. champions. This kind of terms disappeared yeah, a little bit. I, I believe Rajadamran may still have them. I know Lumpini does no longer does they just do the entertainment shows like the Fairtex show that i recently was on um they started a five round promotion as well uh but it's not what it used to be and rajadamran uh I, is keeping a nice kind of balance between the two like they have that rws show that's kind of like a tournament format kind of hard to follow but then they have their regular uh shows as well mm -hmm. um but yeah, they're, they do it the same way. Kind of what I told you is up to 100 fights, you feel like you're gaining experience. You're fighting anyone. Some of these kids fight, you know, every single weekend. And then they get up to 60 fights and they start kind of traveling around, maybe fighting in Phuket, maybe like a Southern style fighter. Then they fight in Bangkok on like a smaller show or stadium. They fight in Chiang Mai. They travel around. And then once they have around 100 fights, then they go to the big circuit, which is in Bangkok, you know, at the, like Channel 7 or uh, Rajadam Nern. If you enjoyed this content, we're doing five clips like this a week. If you want to watch the full podcast, click here.